Today we have the new commissioner of the Premier Hockey Federation, Reagan Carey, who's coming into the league after leading USA women's hockey programs. So first of all, congratulations. Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, you've said in some of your interviews after the announcement that part of your expertise is growing things quickly. Is that going to be the approach with the PHF? Like, let us in on a little bit of your priorities in the coming months, in addition to getting acclimated, of course. <laughs> well, yeah, there's definitely a sense of urgency. I mean, we're coming up on uh, season eight, which in my mind is you know a great opportunity to prove what the PHF is all about. Last season was uh, a bit of that and certainly made a real impact, I think, on people's minds and experiences when it comes to women's professional hockey. But uh, I'm really looking forward to showcasing a lot of what we continue to want to be and, and where we're headed with the PHF. So uh, there's a sense of urgency there for sure, but uh, not at the expense of uh, making quality uh, sound decisions that are in the best interest of the players in the league. In your opinion, why, can you explain a bit more about why there's a sense of urgency? Yeah, well, again, I, I, I think, you know, we want to be able to give information as quickly as we can. And I'm a very transparent leader. I like to uh, get as much out there so people can understand where we're headed and what we're doing, particularly the player pool. So um, so in that sense, there are some things that need to be decided on and, and you know, expansion uh, opportunities that are, are still being ironed out. And uh, uh, so there's just things that are going to be really helpful for people to know as, as well as partners and, uh, you know, the opportunity to uh, team up on broadcasting and things like that. That. So, um, you know, there's there's a sense of urgency only so that we can showcase the best product uh, that we can and continue to take it up notch and notch and notch above where we've been. You know better than anyone since you've been part of building that successful U.S. women's program, um, just how potent that success can be come games time. In your opinion, what is you know, what are some of the ways that you think you can bottle that success and take it? from a once every four years tournament and turn it into a weekly seasonal league? Mm -hmm. Well, I think, it, you know, first it starts with the mindset that all that's possible and doable, similar to, you know, I'm sure a hockey Canada experienced the same thing, but, you know, on a national team, it, that limitless mentality is important. So, you know, going there with the champions mindset, uh, underdog work ethic uh, for what we believe is possible is is going to be required. But I think we're proving that you know, the PHF had the opportunity to broadcast a full season of women's hockey. And those are the steps that take us much closer to the opportunity to see women's hockey, be part of that experience and not wait for those big pinnacle moments. It will just instead be a lot more energy and momentum going into those big moments uh, when when the world's watching. How do you take the interest we know exists for big games like an Olympic gold medal match and turn that into fan interest in a domestic league? Well, luckily at the start of my career, uh, that was a, a, where I spent a great deal of time on fan development and how to get people in the building and how to make uh, the product and uh, entertaining one and one that attracted people to come back and not just be a one-time event. So, um, you know, I'm well rooted in in that type of work and uh, understand the importance of it. So we'll definitely be um, in doing everything we can to not just here's a here's a hockey game. We want it to be an experience and something that feels special and that uh, is a is something that you know people can go and get excited about and talk about and not just again every four years you know and obviously there's a lot of opinions on how to do that um case in point being the existence of the pwhpa uh, another organization that has similar goals and, and you know different ideas of how to get there um you know when it comes to growing women's hockey and giving Canadian and American women's hockey players opportunities is more more in this case you know does having two leagues give more opportunities to players or does it dilute their chances at having a sustainable professional career well, I think options for players are always uh, a great thing. I mean, if we have different places for players to play and they can play, you know, in, in Europe as well, there's different options for players and, and not one specific lane fits for everybody. Everybody's got a different approach to training and developing. And uh, one thing is for sure, playing is going to be the best way to develop. So, you know, the, the opportunity in, in the PHF to provide a place and a home for top athletes to be able to train and develop their skills as well as entertain our fans is, uh, you know, something we're proud of, but um, yeah, there's so many ways to go about it. I feel like it's just a, a terrific time to be part of women's hockey and 
you know, we're working and doing things as creatively as we can. And that, that's something that I'm looking forward to bringing to uh, this, this league is we've got, you know, great partners with Octagon and people that want to set what that industry uh, top bar is for women's professional sports, not just in women's hockey. You mentioned more opportunities are a good thing, um, but recent reports have suggested that talks between the PWHPA and the PHF have been unproductive. Uh, is bridging that gap something on your agenda? Uh, absolutely. I mean, or at least the offer to. I, I you know, firmly believe that working together, similar to U.S. and Hockey Canada's relationship, I mean, we're, we're duking it out on the ice, and that's a, a very competitive spirit between the two, and both sides are working to become the best program they can be. But, you know, behind the scenes and off the ice, you know, the, the leaders in those areas are working together in collaborative mindsets to be able to say, how do we grow this sport so more people can, can benefit from it and more people are participating in women's hockey. So um, I, I hope that our relationship mirrors that. We, we don't have to do everything the same way. We don't have to uh, um, totally come together on every topic. However, you know, the ability to partner in key moments and to really um, show the best of what we have is, I think, important and, and a good demonstration of what... Uh, you know, that partnership can look like.